Good morning, guys. Okay, so today I am revealing our big project to you guys. I am so excited. We have decided to ship lab the entire main floor, the entire thing. So I'm gonna pan over, I'm gonna show you guys just like a little bit of what I'm doing. Um, we're going to have a very detailed step-by-step -step going up on the M&M channel and we will have lots and lots of DIYs going up over on that channel and then the next upcoming weeks and months because we are starting to focus on the M&M channel quite a bit more because we just find that this is what we love to do. We love to take projects or DIYs and break them down for you guys so that they're easy to follow and they're affordable, etc. So we're gonna be focusing a lot on the blog and that YouTube channel, but I wanted to show you guys the behind the scenes over on my channel and show you like what it looks like to do a DIY or try and t like knock out a big project like this. When you have kids at home, we are, technically, the kids are still quarantined through the end of Thursday. Um, today, I'm officially out of quarantine, which just like the thought of that feels really good, but the kids are in quarantine through the end of Thursday. So, um, we've been stuck in the house. The kids are here with me. Kaya hasn't been going to preschool. So I wanna show you guys what it looks like to do projects with two small kids in the house and the chaos. Come here, Brittany, you wanna come say hi? Can you say good morning? Say hi. Oh, are you already ready for now? Okay, goodbye. He does not sit still very well these days. He also, I went to go change his jammies this morning and there was like, <laughs> I was changing him into his clothes for the day. It was like a bulge at the end of his like leg. And I was like, what the heck is that? And then, and I realized it was his diaper. He has been pulling his diaper off through his jammies, and it, it's, that's, it's so fun for me. It, that's, I enjoy that for myself. I am going to sand down the rest of this wall. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like so far, and then I need to sand down the rest of these little um, patches, because I um, filled in holes for where, um, I filled in holes, where we had like nailed the stuff in. So I'm also wearing a shirt that's way too big for me. Um, I bought this when, like right after I had Riker because I was like, I still had a belly and I was like feeling very uncomfortable. So I am wearing it as a paint shirt now because it, need, it needs to go. It's just, it's way too big for me. And this material does not look good when it's big. So anyway, and I've got, you guys remember these? These love pink sweatshirts. I think I bought this like 10 years ago. But anyway, so I'm gonna be wearing painting clothes today. My leggings are looking fabulous. I'm wearing uh yeah, looking real looking real cute today. So anyway, painting clothes. I'm gonna sand down the rest of these little um, hole patches and then I am going to get to painting. Finally gonna start seeing some progress because right now it just looks like a really ugly plywood wall. So Okay, don't mind the Barbie blasting in the background, but um, we ship lab, so I'm up on the third floor right now. Um, our third floor overlooks our second. <clears throat> it's like one of my favorite features of this um, house. So Mike has been busy with orders, but he's tried to help me and like give me guidance like here and there. He did like some more of these like more complicated like cut around, so like for the light switch and like around the banister. He did those cuts for me, but he, like I said, has been busy catching up on orders, so I've been mostly doing this. So we ship lapped here all the way over. I got rid of the pipe shelves and I sold those to um, a friend of mine on Facebook. And then same with over here. I only got like halfway down to like right here. Um, and then, um, we're going to continue over here. Don't mind the breakfast leftover, um, but we're gonna continue over here. I'm gonna finish the ship lap over here tonight, and then I'm going to try and get started. I'm gonna try and get started on this wall. So I'm gonna ship lap this all the way around to here and to here. 
So I'm shiplapping this entire room for less than $500. This is everything that we're shiplapping and it's gonna be a lot of white. Like the kitchen, I'm concerned, is gonna look very white for a little bit. We're doing like white on white on white. We've got subway tile and shiplap and white cabinets. I wish we had wood cabinets now just because we're doing everything else white. But we are gonna add some wood accents in. So this sign is gonna come down. We're gonna do a wood floating shelf here for all of my plants that I have. Like all my plant babies that um, maybe don't need direct sunlight. Um, I'm gonna put them right here on top. And then um, we are going to be installing beams on the ceiling, wood beams on the ceiling, and they're gonna go this way. We're getting a new dining room light. I love this light, but um, A, it's not centered. When we built the house, they installed it wrong. Like they didn't center it with where like a dining table would go, like in the center of the room. So um, we're gonna move that, we're gonna get um, a new, like longer, like rectangular one um, that's more of like a statement piece. And yeah, just like all of the good things happening right now. Um, this area, this like extra space has always bothered me up here. So I'm hoping with like the shiplap that that evens it out a little bit more. Um, my decor is likely going to switch up quite a bit as well since it's gonna feel more farmhousey. Um, I just painted these wood blinds um, white uh, because they were like a reddish brown, but um, everything is just gonna be too white. So we're gonna order in some driftwood colored blinds to go here. So, and then also all of these railings. So the railing down here eventually is going to get swapped out. Like my mic knocked over my freaking leaves last night. Oh, put it, put it in my room. Um, your clothes are downstairs on the couch. Mom, don't make me, don't let me make my own decision. Oh my gosh. We're going through a stage where Kaya needs to make all of her own decisions and dress herself, so. That's good. Um, this right here, um, I always wanted to switch it out to like a wood with like cape, black cable um, railing, but because the mirror is down here, I don't know if I could part with that mirror being here. It's just, it looks so good. This mirror here looks so good. So we talked about doing board and batten on the other side just to give the wall on the other side here some dimension. Um, but the tops of these right here, the tops of these, are going to be replaced with like a distressed um, driftwood type of color, wood, um, and then same with up here. So like all of this, all the way down is gonna be replaced with the driftwood. And then these hand railings are gonna be replaced with um, pipe railings. And we will see if I'm able to do any of these. Like I wanna knock out like at least one or two, like maybe just do these two, knock these two out and do the cable, whatever. But anyways, also I'm drying my comforter. Anybody else like dry their comforters like this? I have nowhere else to hang it, so I just hang it over my railing. So also note to everybody, so I have those like tied scentable things and no, that is not pee. Um, the, what's it called? The yellow scentable things in the wash stained my down comforter. So anyway. That's what that's doing there. Okay, so here is a better view. Um, we did the shiplap all the way to the board and batten here. Um, you guys will get a much better idea as I paint throughout the day. Um, and then over here, we went all the way down. And then, like I said, I have to finish this area.
a little dusty in here, but I have all of the windows open. Make sure that if you guys are doing a DIY at home like this and you're sanding indoors that you have lots of ventilation. And then I like to put the kids upstairs in their room or like away on a different level until the air settles completely. I'm sure many of you are very familiar with like construction stage in your, in your house, but those like small particles are really not good for the kids to breathe. So I just like to keep them on a different room or like in a different room on a different level, um, but somewhere I can still hear them. So while I'm working on this stuff, um, the kids are like in their bedroom right over here. So they're within earshot for me. So that is what I do to keep the kids occupied while I'm working on things like this. And I only do them in really short like bursts. So right now it's about 1130. It's like snack time for the kids. So I'm going to give them a snack and then Riker goes down for a nap after that. I just wanted to get the sanding done before Riker went down because, um, I didn't want to wake him up from his nap with like all of the noise and the sanding. And this way, I have about an hour now where I will feed Riker and put him down for a nap and hang out with Kaya for a little bit, feed her a snack, get her started on some homeschool stuff. So I am a hot mess. I'm super sweaty. But that is what I am going to do next. He's getting crabby. Don't put that in your ear. He's getting crabby. Definitely time for nap time. The dust has settled in here so I can at least feed them um, their snack and then I will put him down for his nap and like I said, get Kaya started on some homeschool stuff. Stop putting that in your ear, you weirdo. Don't do that. And, oh, thank you, that's so nice. Mm, nice, I love you. So anyways, we got super cheap plywood to do this. So it took a lot more prep work. Oh, that's so nice. You're the nicest boy. I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? Do you want some numbs? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Another thing that we did so that Kaya can practice these sheets over and over again if she needs to is we got these like little sleeves from the Target value section when back to school was going on and then I picked up some of these Expo markers so that it can easily erase or if she messes something up, it's okay, I'll, I'll do it again for you. Um, but that way if she messes something up, she can quickly erase it and try again and it works out really well. So anyways, highly recommend you, I bet you there's like some on Amazon. I'll see if I can find some and link them down below for you guys as well. But yeah, these are super awesome. Okay. How, how do you spell your name, honey? Um, K. A. I. A. Good job. What's that spell? My name. What's your name? Kaya. Good job. Okay, so um, now that Kaya is focusing on homeschool, she's just doing like 
Now Kaya is just doing like color stuff that she can do on her own. I'm gonna start Sesame Street in the background. Today we learned the letter C, so I'm gonna do some, some Sesame Street, the letter C. I think that music and Sesame Street, like tools like that that kids latch onto, um, if they have attention span like Kaya, um, Kaya learns things better when it's repeated to her um, in song form um, or in a rhyme, something that she can memorize. She's really good at memorizing music. Um, so, just now when we were working on our worksheets i showed her the cookie monster video or the c is for cookie song and when we were going through the letters she was able to recognize the letter c by singing that song in her head again so anyways i'm going to turn on sesame street for her and then i'm going to prep the area for painting it's pretty much prepped already i just need to put like a drop cloth down um and get my edging brush ready and get the paint pants on and everything but anyways kicking butt today <laughs> what it's looking like so far. Um, like I said, I just have that upper little corner that I have to finish up. But I am loving the texture that it's adding in this space. Um, the ceilings, the ceilings are not going to stay this color. Um, I haven't decided if I wanna do a dark ceiling or if I wanna do a planked ceiling or what I wanna do. But anyway, I have a lot of things to think about now that we finally have to, oh my gosh, these crazy kids. Now that we finally have the ship left up, I need to figure out what I'm going to do as far as 
oh my goodness, color and dimension every, everywhere else. So, but anyways, it feels good to finally have this going, this project going, and I think it's gonna look so good in here in the end. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again Okay guys, I just got, what is that? I just got done um, working from like 3 p.m. until right now. I just got done um, editing a wedding film for one of my friends that Mike went and filmed for last weekend. If you guys were on my Instagram, you would know. If you guys have been watching my Instagram stories um, for the past couple of weeks, you know that I have been quarantined. Um, I'm out of quarantine officially today, like I said, but um, Mike has been out of quarantine for a while now, um, since he was the first one to get sick. So he went and filmed a wedding I was hired to film for one of my friends last weekend and he did a really good job. He always does a really good job with like camera work because he's like my backup cameraman <laughs> when I need help. Um, and he did a really beautiful job and I edited for like six hours. This, I edited for like five, six hours today and I edited for a few hours yesterday. So it has been a lot of editing but I finally just got done editing that wedding film and I'm getting ready to send that off to her. Um, it does take a while and I am like completely out of storage on my computer. I wiped off like all of my videos and I still barely had enough room to get this going, this video going like to be uploaded. So anyway, this video that I'm recording for you guys right now is probably going to be um, a little bit later than like my normal 7 a.m. Um, upload time just because I'm gonna have to edit this in the morning once this video uploads for her overnight It's gonna take a couple hours at least to upload to Google Drive for her That's how I send off my videos is via Google Drive so that they can download them But anyways, I am going to end the vlog there for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this like full day in the life um, I wanted to like give you guys a day in the life that I haven't for a while which is like basically from like morning until night I know there was like a good like five six hour lapse there but we had dinner and then I put Riker to bed at 7 30 that's when he goes to bed and um it, that's been going a lot better bedtime has for him um I talked about in another video that Riker learned how to climb out of his crib and our solution for that was to put um a sleep sack on him and he kept taking it off but we put it on him back Backwards, we found one that was big enough in the like basement we had put all the sleep sacks away and I found one that was big enough and I turned it around backwards and it has been a dream so he finally just went down to, down to bed um, he fell asleep around like 8 30 even though I put him down to bed at like 7 30 but anyway now Kai is having some wind down time it is way past her bedtime but she's just I don't know she's just kind of like riled up today so Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and the project and stay tuned for that DIY over on the m, &M Rustics channel that will be up very soon over on that channel. Well, I shouldn't say very soon. I plan to release that probably like mid-November along with the blog because the blog post is going to take me a little bit to put together. So anyway, all of the things coming at you. I also have um, some sign DIYs going live over on the m, &M Rustics channel in the next couple of weeks for Christmas signs to give you guys all of the inspiration for cheap DIYs for home decor and seasonal decor. It's one of my favorite things to do is to make signs because they're so cheap, especially if you have a Cricut. If you don't have a Cricut, don't worry, I've got your back. I'll show you how I used to do signs before I got my Cricut because um, I've been making signs for a long, long time. So anyway, okay guys, I'm gonna go to bed, let this video upload. It's such a beautiful video. I cried like a baby editing it. So I've got rat sauce in my hair. All right, ladies and gents, that is gonna be it for me today. And I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video. Oh my gosh, my hair. Okay, bye guys.